Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Shack here. Welcome to Dawn of War 2 Eternal. This mod just dropped its new version this morning, about 14 hours ago. Version 0.5.1. And I've been having a blast with it all morning this morning. It basically plays as if they looked at Dawn of War 1 and said, what would the actual sequel to this? If we continued those gameplay mechanics in the Dawn of War 2 engine, what would that be like? And here we are. And if you're wondering, what Dawn of War 2 is that? Eh, it's very different very different than the original Dawn of War, and I'm having a blast with this. This newest version allows you to play as the Eldar, the Imperial Guard, and the Space Marines at the moment with all of the reworks. They even changed the army painter, so not just the main menu has changed, which I do quite like this very clean menu where the new buttons are, uh, but the army painter has changed. You can actually go through all of the units, so if we go to Space Marines, and we drop down to the, who would be very striking? Iron Hands, no, not Iron Hands. Um, Imperial Fists, Imperial Fists would have very striking color palette. If we look at the Imperial Fist here, and we can actually go through and see all of the units. Very cool. The yellow looks good. Oh man, look at them all. Very, very cool. And all the upgrades actually do show up on the vehicles. I've been playing a lot of, of course, the Imperial Guard. And it is a bit of a trip. I've been painting my first Warhammer 40k, my first army in any mini game. And I've been painting Lehman Russes. And it's just very cool to see them in this color palette. This is my 195th Armitage Free Company. Very, very cool. Uh, but all right, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay and show you guys what is up with this. Now, bear in mind, I am absolutely terrible at this mod. I have not won a skirmish yet, so we're going to dive in and hope for the best. I've been playing against the, you know what, let's play as a heavy support and go for tanks. That's my plan. Let's bump this up to a four player. If you see Eternal on there, that means that the map has been reworked, so it runs better with it. And then if you look carefully, there are ones with, like, turrets so you can not get rushed, which is a thing. Um, eh, let's go here. Let's just do a 1v1. 1v1 against the... I can't wait until they do the orcs. Uh, they do a rework of the orcs. Ah, but uh, let's just do the Eldar because that's the one that's been updated. And we'll fight against the Path of the Warrior. Sounds good. All right. Ready to go. Annihilation. Classic. There's the map. Let's hopefully not get our butts kicked and go. So what have they done? Well, base building is back in a big way. You're building your plasma generators in your actual base. They've had to flatten out some of the starting areas. It's one of the big changes that they've made to some of the maps. Um, base building is back. The units have all these cool upgrades. And the fights are intense and much quicker. Feels kind of like the old Command of Conquers, honestly. On, all right, we got our turrets up. Nice, that'll keep us from getting rushed. There's our commanding general, and here is our engineer. So if we go under engineer, we go production building. The UI obviously has changed. We got production. Let's pick up our plasma generators. Let's send the general out to capture the first location. Gonna go for power because I'm always short, it seems, on power when I play this. And notice the engineers are actually putting down the structure. Uh, they're hitting it with a knife. Sure, why not? Probably because there's no model for like a wrench or a hammer that they could have used. And we are capping our power location. Our abilities on the bottom right-hand corner are off-mask, off-map, basilisk flare. Let's you see an area. You can use your command points for that. And then conscription, which is freaking hilarious. And I love it. I will so hold and not use it right away, just so we can have a, a fun, like, surprise, Eldar. That you drop so many troops when you use it. Uh, our field bastion can get upgraded. We can also build other structures. I'm going to pick up um, a normal guardsman squad. Yeah, we'll pick up another normal guardsman squad so we can actually get some upgrades on, for that. Right, Let's lock you down. Roger. Let's move on to the other power node. No, you know what? Let's go for this. We'll go for the wreck point, and then we can fall back and get the other power node. Because it looks like we got two power nodes to the south, two to the north. The enemy approaches. It is time to outnumber our enemy 300 to 1. Why? Because we're the Imperial God. That's why. Fine cover. There are so many of you, there isn't enough cover to go around. This seems very Imperial Guard. And for you, uh, let's just put you in the back. You guys are going to let them do their jobs. All right, let's go ahead and cap. They're running. They're retreating. I'm going to pick up, let's see, adds an engineer warmaster to General Retina, allowing the General Command Squad to repair vehicles and structures. Can ability to construct multi-laser tarantula? Yeah, let's get an engineer. Let's go very, like, dig in. We're the Imperial Guard. Let's get the walls up. How are you doing? Um, you are desperately needing us to capture some wreck points. So we're going to move in. 
They'll tell us apart in melee. Yeah, they kind of do exactly that. I need you to fall back, Conscript Squad, which are super cheap to re recoup. And then why don't I give you... Um, hmm. Better armor or back in the fight, healing ability for other infantry over time. Let's go back in the fight for those upgrades. You guys are back on the field. As soon as you have the ability, I'm going to put you on auto build. There you are. Auto build. Let's get some more power coming in. And this will be the last one that we build. We don't have the wreck for it. What's going on up here? You took it. Well done. We need 100 points before we can cap it. Very good. Oh, there's our there's our turret. Uh, Let's press before we spend our wreck points. Incoming contact. Try to get cover, conscripts. While the actual squad... I will give them bayonets. Oh, it's expensive, though. I don't really want to do that just yet. Uh, we have it. Let's lock it down, and then we'll be able to put one turret around it to hold it. That's how that works. Guardians are under attack. Commander! Commander, we need you. Boys are getting a little, um... Thinned out, we'll say. Why don't you guys get into some semblance of cover, please? All right, fall back. That was like immediately all of your health. So we took this. We took it. Uh, let's get you guys into cover as well. I need to get you those bayonets, but not yet. Let's put a turret on it. Those tarantula turrets seem to do pretty well. Trying to lock points down. All right. So we've got a couple of power sources. You can have six if for the Imperial Guard at least. Uh, I'm going to pick up the... Hmm... Let's go for infantry command as soon as it lets us. Come on, come on, come on. This will allow us to get like the the real numbers here, the real vehicles and whatnot. All right, that's going down. You guys have locked it down. Squad, move up, get yourself some cover. I mean, I might be able to get you a turret, which is cheaper. 100 here or 90 for the one that I could make, the multi-laser. Okay, you gotta run. Fall back. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Let's get the turret online. Buy him some time, boys. I might give you a sergeant, too. But we need that turret up. Do you have a shotgun? How are we doing back here? All right, the structure is up. Our power is at 260. I really do need to lock these down and get some more upgrades into them. Let's move up. Maybe we'll get lucky and they haven't actually they did take it. Okay, how are we doing back here? They can't keep my skull. Oh, they are! Commander, run! Damn it. Commander's down. I'll have to wait until he's cheaper to recoup. But we do have at least a turret up there to slow the enemy down. Right? There it goes. There it goes. Okay, squads. Let's recoup your numbers. I know it's going to be expensive. Did you guys cap that? Not yet. As soon as it's yours, we'll lock it down with a turret. See how the turret's like buying us time? Actually, not even buying us time. Actually killing the enemy. I will definitely take that. They are they are taking back our base back there, though. That's not good. All right, let's get those locks down. Squads, let's move. Now, we gots to get teched up. Did you get it? Good job. Wait for it. Wait for it. Lock it down. I'm very, very worried that we're going to lose that generator in the south. As soon as you have the ability, I am going to give you a turret to defend yourself. Well, we're getting plus 90. How you doing up there? They managed to get the turret, but they haven't taken the points. What are your Oh, look at all the squads. Looking good, boys. Looking boys. So we're going to get the tactical uplink. Tactical uplink will allow us to do research. Also, trade resources. We can use command to get other resources. So get that locked down, and then I think we're just gonna have to wait. We gotta get vehicles. We're getting, we're getting kind of obliterated. So oh my, what the hell? Okay, maybe relying on conscripts isn't the way to go. <laughs> that was brutal. Why? Uh, I have to cap. I have to tech up. 250 on the tech up. Can you, um... 
Can you give me rec points? I don't have the hundred for it. Oh, it requires full scale war. So we literally need this research and this research, which is tier two, um, then that to get to trading, the ability to trade. All right, tier two is on the way. We're rec pointing. We have to get in there. We're so behind on resources. I'm gonna push for this, and I'm gonna have just everybody what join up. Imperium, I am gonna have more conscripts soon. Like that timer is ticking down. Who's engaged? Okay, fall back. Fall back. Ow. There goes the majority. There goes an entire enemy squad. I don't have any turrets down there. Nope, nope, nope. Don't build that. We're waiting for the tech up. Uh, tech up is almost done, and we'll be able to get a Manticore Depot or the Devil Dog. I'm thinking Devil Dog, and we'll get the flamethrowers out. Uh, how are you guys doing? You look like you could use a plasma weapon. Do it. Plasma weapon and a medic. That way we can start doing real damage. At least I'm not taking out my power. Ah! As soon as I say it! Okay, 250 rec points required to get the commander. I can go for the engineers, um, the engine seer quarters. I guess this will increase like vehicle repair and whatnot. I think we even get maybe tech priests. Not really sure. Hey, we got plasma weapons. Get wrecked. We're about to have a medic, and I'm also gonna give you a sergeant. Hopefully, they can't just one shot you. We hold here. I believe in you, guard. There you go. Those plasma weapons are getting work done. All right, let's get the commander back in the field. And I really want a devil dog, but I can't afford it because we just used the rec points. And we're going to move in hard. This should allow us to carry troops too, right? Armed with a melted cannon, primary weapon making devastating against vehicles with limited range. Uh, I hope I can give you actual flamethrowers. Oh, I just took out one of, my, one of my generators. All right, first vehicle is on the way. Engineer. All right, let's move out. We'll go murder face these guys, and then we'll use our engineers to lock down this area with some of those defense structures. I'm believing in you. Good job. Also, there's our research that I have yet to do because I'm bad. So let's pick up um, power. It's always power. Spread out so he doesn't one shot all of you. Get that turret online. Defense turrets are doing okay. I could even reinforce them if I wanted to, which doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Oh, you're done. Melta, let's go. We're finally at vehicles. All right, hold your position right there. Because what I would really like to get right now, I could get a Manticore, I could get Sentinels. Sentinels would make us quick and easy to move around the map. All right, let's go for a Sentinel. Sentinel. Can't build one yet. Need the 130 power. Calling in the generator. And then we'll do some research for the twin drive fusion reactors. Increases the rate of power produced. 60. It can go up to, I think, 100. Uh, there. Research is on the way. We need to press, though. We do need to take some. I think with the vehicle, we might be able to do it. So let's move up. Let's move up and smite. We'll let the vehicle move in first. Can you guys get in? No. As soon as I move the vehicle away, you guys fall back. See if we can wipe this group over here. Oh, it's almost done. I might be able to bring in even more units. How you doing over here? I can up armor you? That's very tempting. Now, another thing that we haven't done is I haven't gotten standard kits for my troops, and I bet that would go a long way. All right, we're advancing. It's time to take these rec points. All units, press forward. As soon as you get in range, I want you to put a turret down right here. Fight back, men. Particularly you conscripts. You don't really have anything better to be doing. There you go. Start building that turret. And as soon as you're done, maybe start repairing. 
Commander, I really do need you killing these guys in armor. Like, deal with that. Light it on fire. There you go. Okay, when can we get proper vehicles? We need an, We need to go... Oh, we need to take that bad. Can't do it just yet, though. Current power is insufficient. Not enough Vespian gas? Are you really telling me that right now? Good job. Get back to base. I need you to build me another plasma generator. That way we always have that power coming in. We got this point. Let's lock it down. Let's see what the enemy's like over here. As soon as that's done, we're going to pick up the turret that it comes with. That way it's a little harder for them to take it. Let's move. Lock it down. Lock it down. Commander in the back right here. Vehicles move up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. We're finally making a little forward progress. I would feel a hell of a lot better if we had real guardsman squads. Uh, how are you guys doing on that research? You're not, because we haven't done any of it. <laughs> oh, no. It's almost done. There we go. Wonderful. You're not maxed out either, are you? Yeah, it's calling another generator here. I could have six back at base. I'm going to just build those now. We need your plasma weapons on the front line. Oh, nobody's capped it. <laughs> All right, send the, send the one conscript squad forward. See if we can actually cap this. Let me get another engineer squad, too. What in the world? Oh, it's their commander. Ha! Ah! Get wrecked. Oh, but your troops are dead. All right, Commander, you need to fall back. Buy us a little time. Let's get your units back. Uh, you neutralized it. You did good. Fall back. Get behind the armor. And a large number of reinforcements are on the way. Oh, I don't have the rec points. It costs 400 rec points to call in a billion guardsmen. Uh, that research for armor seemed like it worked really well. Um... It's a hero upgrade. Tempting. Get your full full retinue back. And let's look at getting tier four. Right now. Now? No? What do you need? Oh, he's training up his, yeah, his squad. It ate just enough rec points to slow me down. Okay. You've got your unit. I could give you a sergeant. I could give you better armor. If I could afford it. I am on my way. Right then. Moving. Why can't you build a turret? Oh, because you've already used your one turret, which is down. N nope. Nope. There's no turret down there. Why can't you build your turret? The turret has exploded because they took the territory from behind us. A power node. You All right, we're moving up. We've got to press. We got to take more territory, and I'm thinking maybe get another engineer squad to bring to the front line. Oh, you have to click it again. Yeah, you have to, like, produce the Watchmaster again. Look at him go for it. Ow! Except that's an actual squad with plasma weapons, so... Still, still, even with all that fire, they still push through... That guardsman life. Get a move on um, hmm. Ooh, we could go for the Kaskrin quarters and get like proper veterans. I still going for armor. So full scale war is probably gonna be our next one. That'll give us the Lehman Rust Depot. Requires Lehman Rust Depot. Lehman Rust Depot requires full scale war. Yeah, that's the chain of events that has to happen. I can send an engineer up to help hold that power generator, which chances are is going to get beat up pretty badly. We'll go for the full-scale war first. Hey, go and repair this guy. <laughs> Let's get that locked down. And we'll lock you down as well. More rec points for the win. Oh, no, they took my rec point, my rec position there. Well, that sucks. 
At least your turret's getting work done. Commander, I need you to do terrible things to this enemy squad. We must disengage. They're falling back. Full scale wartime? Yep, there it is. And Lehman Russ Depot is already queued. And the I can't afford it. But coming soon, Lehman Russ. Commander's holding there. We're getting annihilated by enemy spells. Not cool. No, that whole squad, including the plasma upgrade, has been destroyed. And I can't bring them super cheap, useless reinforcements. Fall back. Fall back. We have to hold. Oh, please don't explode. I'm trying to pull them back. We can get underneath the guns here. One of our structures has been destroyed. Oh, they killed the, yeah. They killed the upgrade for that. Oh, just give it a minute. It's coming. Oh, we have to actually cue the tank too. There we go. All right, tank is queued. We've basically lost everybody. I do have the one engineer that's part of the command retinue, like working on the repairs. This is fine. Let's get another tarantula turret, just to hope that we can hold out. I believe in you. I believe in you turrets. You have to hold them off until we can get the tanks. Wait, 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 wait. Is that ready? Is that like, we can do this now? Y yes and no. We've ranked up so we can sacrifice our power pool. Wait, wait a minute. All I have to do is the seal research and I can get a command Lehman Rust drop. So we may have a instant vehicle upgrade in a second. That poor turret is being blown up. Thankfully, our vehicle's almost upgraded. All right, let's go. We have to stop them. Because they are about to kill that turret, and I would rather that not happen! Oh, kill their commander. Kill their commander, for sure. Oh, deleted! Let's not let this turret explode. Is it done? It's done! Lehman Russ, let's go! And there is the upgrades, but we don't have the tech priest. But if we do the armor upgrade, I love this. So when you do the armor upgrade on this, give it a second and you'll see the bulldozer pop up. So it doesn't have like the side tracks. Those are always there. Cause it just generally looks better that way. But um, the side track covers, cause that's an optional upgrade, I guess, in Warhammer in the tabletop. But for um, knowing if a Lehman Russ has the armor upgrade, that's how you know. All right, first one's there. Uh, we can't pull in the commander one because we don't have the seal of the regiment. Oh, now we're doing it. Now, we have to move in. Um, I would love to get proper, like, veteran troops. Oh, wow, they're expensive. They're stupid expensive. What the hell? Okay, we can't wait. Let's push in and take these wreck points and destroy everything in the area. Um, hopefully, I can bring them reinforcements. So I'll also get the commander a few more levels, which I'm cool with. Call in reinforcements ability from the front line with a Vox commander. If I had those troops. Armor moving out. Requires power. How much? 300 power to get the commander. The tank commander. All right, we are camping. When the general has to do it himself. We should probably do rec point upgrades too if it gives us the opportunity. It's 300 power, which you don't have. I mean, I could pop this. That would give us a little bit more. Uh, we're not going to move until that's destroyed. I know. All we need is 300 power. And I can send reinforcements there. Or I could do this and get some some veterans. Veterans might be able to handle that. I am going to lose those turrets, though. Damn. Oh, they're right behind the damn turrets. Uh, I should have put them in the back. Troops, veterans, you guys ready? All right, we got it. Go resecure that. We'll lock it down. How are they doing? Training on those veterans. Coming up soon. Yeah, be on fire. 
bolt are going to. Can you help with the commander? We'll lock this back down. There they are. Get yourself a sergeant and get yourself plasma weaponry. There's our vets. There it is. All right, you need to fall back. I kind of love the idea of giving the commander a sniper rifle. So he can sit in the back. Um, armor, you need to catch up to that. 150 on the power wreck. I might wait for the for the command. Hey, we've got creeping barrage now unlocked for the Lehman Russ. I've got him like stuck in a wall. Move it up. Fire on my target. And then of course we need to lock these points down if we can. They didn't actually put a lockdown on that. Good. They are trying to kill that though, which isn't great. Their warlock is dead. Wonderful. I need 600 and 600. That's not happening anytime soon. Are we capping? Almost, almost. Yeah, go cap that. Oh, we can't, we have to see it. That Lehman Rust cannon turn. We got it, capping. Feels good, feels good. We're holding, sort of. I mean, I kind of want to do this, but it'd be a real waste of resources, I think. I could get another Lehman Rust right now. Or if I hold out for 300, I might actually be able to trade for it. Sacrificing. Sacrificing. Almost there. Need 600. Oh yeah, no, this is gonna be perfect. Okay, I have not, I'm not waiting anymore. Just do it again. Do it again. Yes, the Bane Blade is under construction. Hell yeah. Can't afford those though. I'll put the rounds into this fool. How we doing over there? We've locked it down, and the armor has decided to delete their fool. Delete those fools. They're falling back. Have we got this on lockdown yet? Nope. Let's lock that down. Vets, we're moving out. And then with that, Le <laughs> they're gonna push into the base. Please tell me they're gonna push into the base just in time for the reinforcements to arrive. Come on, come on, you need to go away. Uh-oh. Oh, they're taking it! You jerks! They actually have a lot of upgrades. Fall back. Ooh! They're veterans, though. They actually survived that explosion. Sort of. Ow. Something is shelling you guys. Don't let him have it. Don't let him have it. Is it Baneblade reporting for duty? All right, I think it's time to start pushing towards their base. Um, I'm gonna go for another Lehman Russ, maybe, or the Sentinel. I never did the Sentinel upgrade. Let's go for that. All I need is 300 power. Oh, they killed my damn... They killed my damn research and trade station thing. Uh-oh. Well, we've got engineers on the way. Baneblade, I'm ordering you to move out and kill everything in your way. Let's go. While we pull back our Hellhound for repairs. Veteran Squad, how you guys doing? Holding, but barely. The upgrade is done. Let's get a turret on it. I'm ordering you back. I would love to do this research, but I don't think I can hold it long enough. Uh, Alright, Commander, come on back. Let's turn around the Lehman Rust that's here holding our power locations. And our engineers are done. So I ordered the Lehman the... Uh-oh. Yeah, fight here. Hold them off. 
I'll send you reinforcements the second I have them. Oh, you need backup. I'm ordering the Bane Blade to fall back. You guys, give me that uplink. That's going to be an expensive upgrade. We'll get Accental as well. How you doing? You making it? Ooh, there's Opal's dead. Oh, no. No! Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That may have been it for us. That might have been the end game. Okay. Can I get another one? I can, but I'd have to trade almost all of my power to do it. Which we may just do. We may just go for it. And then we're going to push into the enemy base with the armor that we've got. And hope for the best. With the proper support, I think they could pull it off. Okay, Lehman Russ is on the way. Another veteran squad is done. I do want to pass out. Ah, it's expensive. Pass out plasma weapons. Sentinel's good to go. Very cool. I could give you the missile launcher upgrade, but I'm thinking just up armor you. And I, I don't know. Does it does it actually do the armor the armor top? Let's see. I overestimated how strong the Bane Blade was going to be. Wait for the upgrade. Almost done. No, I just got the little sensor thing. I have a feeling there is an upgrade somewhere. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in here. We're going to push hard into the enemy base in just a second. I'm just getting everybody upgraded. We'll get some more repairs. You need to turn around because location-based damage is in this game. Uh, another bit of armor is ready to go. Let's start doing trading for power again. And we're going to do a, bit, a Blitzkrieg for the enemy base. Hmm... All right, command. Le we're not gonna do a, a band play. We're gonna do a command. Lehman Ross. Now is the time to move. We hear you. All right, armor push. Just about ready to go. We can do a transport as well. I wouldn't mind doing that. Thunder Depot, Manticore missiles. Uh, let's go for Chimera. Let's keep it simple. Chimera for the elite units. Battle line set up. And we push. One solid push to eliminate the enemy base. Chimera is ready. Up armoring it now. Let's put the engineers in it so they'll be our support team. Not, not you. You're you're fine. All right, here we go. We're pushing all the way through. The enemy base is up here, I would imagine. The biggest open area is in the middle, so we're going to set up there. Oh, you guys need to spread out. I'm not super worried about capping this so much as actually just pushing through. The Lehman Rustas are a little slow. Let's let them have a chance to catch up. Uh, I love the idea of dropping a huge number of conscripts as well. We will neutralize this. Why not? Might need the resources. Now, I do have a little bit left. I can do one creeping barrage. So if we can get one large group of enemies. Oh, base, please hold out. Let's not make this a base race. Oh, armor, now is your chance. Cause as many casualties as you can before we get there. Well done. We're pressing. Let's see if we can box them in. Oh, why is my actual transport? You guys haven't captured this? Fall back. I want a creeping barrage right here. Fall back. Fall all units. Fall back and hold. 
There's the creeping barrage. Now we press. Stay in range, stay in range. Just to slow them down, bring in the conscripts. Slow them down with the conscripts, let's go! Into the base, into the base. Pick up the turrets. What's the commander doing back here? He can one-shot stuff. Oh, the, <laughs> the conscripts are still alive, but look at that fight! Hell yes. Oh, I just lost the lead to Russ. The one that was watching our backs just exploded. But I think we made it. Now there is artillery in this, but I don't think the Basilisk is a buildable unit. You only have like the creeping barrage for it. You can make, I think it's the, the Manticore, the one with the missile rack on the back, which is super effective. It just has a timed ability, which I've been having fun there. You can see he's got the armor upgrade. Uh, I don't know what the armor upgrade looks like on the Chimera or the Hellhound, but on the Lehman Russ, it gets the Bulldozer attachment. That's how you know. Very cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for this quick spotlight. I highly recommend this one. It's also super easy to install. It has an installer on its own, but when you're installing it, right at the very end, the last step, the last thing that you need to make sure that you do is copy the command that needs to be put into the Steam launcher. And there's instructions on how to do that so that it launches the mod. A lot of people I think are missing that little component. And so when they launch the game without having that in there, nothing is telling it to actually launch the mod. But we managed to build up and push in. Oh, deleted. The vet reunits. I love the army painter too. These are actually my tabletop army colors, more or less. They're a little bit more sand colored than this, but I think they look great. Commander in the back, just like, yep, keep doing what you're doing. Looking good. We'll even call in a strike. Bring in the barrage. Ah, camera. 